2020 Integrated Science Paper 2 Solutions to Calculation Questions. So let's start with question 2B. A 100 watt heater is connected to a 240 volt main supply. Calculate I current drawn. So the question from the question power is given as 100 watts then voltage 240 volts so to get the current drawn we use electrical or electric power equation that is P is equal to IV so by substitution we can write that 100 is equal to I times 240. So to get the current here, we divide through by 240. And when we simplify this, we are getting 10 over 24. This implies that the current is equal to 0 0.417 amps now let's consider the ii part of the question here we are to find the resistance of the heater you know from ohm's law we can write v is equal to ir this implies that i is equal to v over r that is by dividing both sides by what r we get i to be equal to v over r also p is equal to iv so in place of i here we put v over r so our p is now equal to v over r times v now we substitute the values into this V is 240 then P is what? 100 so we are getting this this implies that 100 is equal to 56,600 over R so we now multiply both sides by R and divide by Hundred. Good. So this will cancel this, and this will cancel this. So we now have R to be equal to five hundred and seventy-six ohms. Question four B. I define the mole of a substance. The mole of a substance can be defined as the amount of substance that contain as many particles as there are atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. Now let's consider the II aspects. Calculate the number of atoms in 18 grams of magnesium metal so from the question the mass of the metal is 18 grams relative atomic mass is 24 so we can write that the molar mass of magnesium is 24 grams per mole so now let's try to find the mole of this was metal and mole is mass per molar mass in this case mole is mass per what molar mass so by substitution we get mole is equal to 18 over 24 when simplify results 
at 0 0.75 moles all right now you know any one mole of an atom contain the Avogadro resource number that is 6.023 times 10 exponent 23 so if one mole of magnesium contains 6.023 times 10 exponent 23 atoms of magnesium then how many atoms will 0 0.75 moles of this metal contain so let's try to solve that so by ratio and proportion you know if this if one is to this then 0 0.75 will be equal to what 0 0.75 over 1 times this and that gives us 4.517 times 10 exponent 23 hence there are 4.517 times 10 exponent 23 atoms in 18 grams of magnesium metal. Question 6. You have to first define what displacement. So what is displacement? Displacement can be defined as the change in position of an object from one point to another in a given direction in space. A bed flies with a constant velocity of 100 meters per second for 10 minutes calculate the magnitude of its displacement so the bed flies with constant velocity of what 100 meters the time is what 10 meters the displacement is what we have to look for so from the equation of motion um, velocity is equal to displacement over time so we can write that displacement is equal to velocity times time so by substitution we can write s equal 100 times 10 times 60 seconds so we convert the 10 minutes to seconds by multiplying by the 60 and the whole thing will give us 60,000 meters so the displacement is 60,000 meters now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe